This is SOAP Pro Imaging Software, how to work in the standard full mouth series charts. To work in a full mouth series chart, you would come up to the top of the screen to the icon here that says New FMS. You click that icon, it gives you the choice of a couple different standard charts to work in. Now these are standard canine charts, but if you were to cho have chosen a different species, such as a cat or a rabbit, Charts would differ according to species. I would like to use. And it will open up the chart for me. Now, as you can see, it starts in the upper left hand corner and it's going to jump across the screen as I shoot. So when I shoot my first x ray, it's going to appear in that box and then it's going to automatically jump from one box to the next as I shoot my x-rays. Now there is a way that we can customize this to go in the order that you want and I'll be getting to that a little later in the video. Multiple shots of your 104 canine, you can just switch your mouse to 104 and then you can take multiple shots in that location. Another way that you can go about filling out your dental chart is that if your images have already been numbered, you can come down to the bottom of the screen here, and there's a little Rubik's Cube icon. If I run my mouse over it, it says Fill. That's my Fill button. And if I click that Rubik's Cube, the software will automatically drop any previously numbered images I have into the correct spot on the dental chart for me. Multiple shots of these upper incisors. There's a gray arrow in the upper right hand corner and that will drop down and show me all of my x-rays of my upper incisors. Now, if you wanted to customize this chart, and there's a couple different ways you can customize it, you can delete boxes, so if you did not want these bite wing boxes, we can get rid of those. Or if you want to assign specific teeth to a specific box, we can do that as well. So if you wanted only your 204 canine in this box, we can change that. We can also make boxes larger or smaller and add boxes accordingly. If I wanted to customize my chart, I would come down to the bottom of the screen to the icon that says Move. Icon. It opens up a couple different choices for me of things that I can do to customize my box hand side it says boxes ordering and that's where I can change the order in which I shoot my x-rays. So as you can see now we are shooting from left to right on the computer screen but if I wanted to move from right to left instead I can select that box and then I just click on the box I would like to start in. So if I wanted to start in this location I click there and it gives me the number one. Then I just move along in the order in which I would prefer to shoot. So this box gives me number two. I click once more and now I have number three. And it will move on as you continue to click. When you have the order that you would like to use, you just come back down to the bottom of the screen and click that icon once more to close it out and save your preference. Right is where we can go to assign the properties of the box. So as I was saying before, in this box, if we wanted to assign only our 204 canines to that box, I can select box 3, where it says Properties. A dental diagram similar to the one on the main screen page. I can then just select or deselect the teeth that I want in my image. When I'm done, I hit OK. And now that box will be only of to the 204 canine. So if I decided I did not want these bite wing boxes in my chart, I can select that box and then come down to my next icon, which is a little red square with a minus sign, and that's going to be my delete a box. And when I click that, it's going to ask me, am I sure I want to delete it? And I do, so I hit yes. And then I just continue deleting until all of my bite wing boxes have gone.
Now, if I wanted to add this chart, so let's say that I wanted two boxes of my upper incisors. So I have my upper incisors here, and I want to add a second box of upper incisors right here. I would just go to the green circle with the plus sign, and that's my add a box. And when I click that, it'll automatically drop a box onto the screen for me. To drag and drop it to my preferred location. Size of my boxes, if I want this box to be longer, or if I want it to be thinner. And I can do that with any of my boxes. I can adjust the size of any of the boxes. And now I just need to assign a property to this box. So I come back down to the icon that says properties of the box. And I select my upper incisors that I want included in that box. Teeth to that box. Done, and I have my chart set up the way that I want it. Out of the dental chart in this little red square in the upper right-hand corner. And when I go to exit out, it asks me if I want to save this full mount series as a model. So if I want to create this as my standard canine chart, I can customize it the way I want. And then when I go to exit, I can save it. And I will assign it a name. So let's assign it standard canine. I hit OK. It will forever be saved as an option I can choose when I want to shoot a canine full mouth series chart. On assembling your chart, please contact Dental Focus at 1-908-336-8790. Thank you.